If there's one European country I love, it's France. Their language, their romance, and after all, they did name their most famous avenue after me, the Champs Elysees. I'm kidding, of course. And on top of all that, we know the French are famous for art, food and wine. And you don't even need to go far from the valley to find them. Fortitude Valley, that is. Not the Loire Valley, monsieur. Oui. Au revoir. You can celebrate like it's Bastille Day every day at Confit. It's a French bistro, but this isn't your typical Gallic restaurant. Raw heat of summer. That first downpour. So, Jase, how did this concept of combining the arts and food come about? Well, it was all based on sort of what the Europeans have been doing for so long, and, and you know, they've incorporated food, arts into their way of life, and we just thought, well, you know, it's not done in Brisbane, so we thought it's a great opportunity for us to work with local artists and, and sort of give them an opportunity to showcase some of their um, talent. It is a good European feel, isn't it? I mean, uh, you've got a French bistro here, uh, and uh, with the arts combined, it creates a great ambience, doesn't it, to actually eat and enjoy a meal? I think that's part of sort of good food, good wine, and sort of the ambience that comes with it. And I think it's uh, those three key things are sort of important to sort of having a really good time. The Art Deco style of Confi provides plenty of inspiration for artists. Even with all this noise swirling around him, painter Peter Granger somehow manages to concentrate on his canvas. Oh, Pete, coming along nicely, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the concept yourself? You're an artist. Uh, this is your first night here, I believe. It is my first night. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Absolutely, yeah. It's really social and it's um, everyone's enjoying themselves. A little bit of difference going on and people can have a look at my paintings for the very first time. While some might be eyeing off one of Peter's masterpieces, for others it's Jason's edible artworks that are catching their eye. The ordering style is similar to a yum chow experience, but the menu is a unique melting pot of international tastes. There's Asian dumplings, Spanish-style prawns, and the traditional French dishes the restaurant is known for. Got an apron for you? Oh, well, you can leave that. <laughs> I wouldn't do it to your customers. OK, what's on the menu? Basically, a little selection of some tasty little treats that they'll keep them going throughout the night. And do you find that that, that concept works uh, with what you're doing here tonight? Absolutely. It just keeps it very sort of informal, relaxed, uh, and, and basically it's just grazing food. So it's kind of, you know, they can sort of enjoy what's going on, but also um, take note of, you know, eat and sort of pick and try heaps of different things. There's about 18 things on the menu tonight. If you're ready for some European flair and international flavour in your life, Confi hosts the Black Room once a month on a Wednesday night. Taste plates are available from $7, but the entertainment is free.